This Q&A video is about how many fans can you have on a fan header? Well, typically a fan header is around one amp, so you can kind of gauge it from there. And most fans are between 0.2 to 0.3 amps, so you could fit up to four fans per you know, fan header. And by the way, this could be a three pin or four pin fan header, unless of course, you know, the fan header has more amps and it's specified to have more amps, but in most cases it is one amp per fan header. And with that being said, typically you'll see the splitters, you know, the four pin or three pin splitters will have what? Two connections on them. So one end of course goes into the fan header on the board and then the other two ends into powering the fan, whether it be again a three pin or a four pin fan. And with the wire splitter only having two connections, you're usually safe, but still check the amps on each fan just to be sure. Okay, so I have a number of fans here ranging from 120 millimeters all the way up to 140 millimeters. So typical sizes that you can fit in your case or on your CPU cooler. So how many of these could I have per fan header? Well, if you don't have the box, because on the box it will tell you the amperage, but if you don't, should be a sticker on the fan and then Google it and then you'll find out how many amps per fan, and that's the key. Like for example, on the end here, I have a Silverstone fan. This is an LED fan, it's only 120 millimeters, but it draws, well, 0.33 amps. Okay, so all this talk about amps, how are amps calculated? Well, amps equals watts over volts, and once you have the fan's wattage and its voltage, bam, you can calculate the amps. So let's just say the fan is 3.96 watts and it's 12 volts. Well, that would equal 0.33 amps. So you can do the math, here, how many of these could you have up to one amp? Well, you could have a maximum, really, of three of those. In the middle is a Swift Tech 120 millimeter fan. This one doesn't draw a lot, just 0.2 amps, so you could have four of those. On the end is a Fractal Design fan. That one draws 0.3 amps, so you could, again, like the Silverstone on the end, have a maximum of three of these. Oh, and this is definitely worth mentioning, do not go beyond that one amp limit. If you do, well, you could be in for some burning. And no, I'm not talking about you just came back from your doctor burning either. What will happen is you will damage those copper traces on the board, and once you've done that, well, unless you get them fixed, which wouldn't make a lot of sense, yeah, you're probably, you're probably done, and your board is history. So, a word of warning there. Now I know what some of you are thinking, who cares how many fans you can have per fan header? Well, you can go ahead and purchase a powered fan splitter or a fan controller. Well, you would be 100% correct on that. But that was not the question, right? The question was, how many fans can you have per fan header if you were to do it? Well, again, it depends on how many amps each fan is, up to a total of one amp, Unless, of course, the motherboard has, well, super amazing fan headers that come with, you know, more powerful fan headers. And that's not typically the case. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Q&A video. I know my style has changed quite a lot in recent. I hope you like it. And if you do, well, do this, subscribe and comment below, and we always appreciate your input, you know, on this and other things. Maybe you can provide some more insight. Anyway, until the next one, ciao. Well, now that this video is all wrapped up, I think I'll go for a hike and uh, see some of these beautiful fall colors.